my composure. That but CD's a two stop. Diaz is throwing a good job back to the corner. They're trying to go. He had three fights in Mexico before he could legally fight in the United States. This basically got CD. Diaz tries to basically relax. I'm talking Casitas. Now this usually comes in the first round. Well, Brendan Smith could see just then. That's the Michael we know. Maybe. That's the Michael he knows. This is the Michael that we know. And the Diaz. They're fighting in Toowoomba, Australia. He yeah, might have gotten a kid. And uh, being. Diaz got cut in his last fight against Campbell along the left eye. Katsidis wants to be in Diaz's chest. And Katsidis has keep his head right in Diaz's. Also, Casides is really using his back. And Diaz is doing the right thing by circling around. That's very good by Diaz. Not... Good combination by Diaz. Chops the right hand to that cut eye of Casides. Oh, Diaz is... Diaz blocks that on. This thing is going to eventually play out. The target for Diaz, which is which is good. This is doing the right thing, which is putting pressure on him. But he needs to be throwing, you know, I'm a, I'm a big advocate of the jab. But he's doing the right thing right now. And the ring is, this is my ring home and you're in it. Harold, as we begin round number four, Katsidis again trying to dig in with his power shots. Diaz answers back with hooks to the body. Lennox Max made the point. Right? He's trying to take his time about it, but problem. Doing a lot of different things as well. Triple Not left only. hand by Diaz. Combination, but also cut a guy. You can use your jab to open up a cut or help make a cut that's open a bit worse. Diaz doing great work on the inside with his left hook and his right hand. Punches. Diaz. Which is a great thing to do because he's not getting hit with no silly punches. Find a way to shake up the apple cart a little bit. A little loose when he was lighting target for Katsidis, who's a very good body puncher. Diaz goes to Katsidis' body. Good uppercut and then left hook by Diaz. You know, for the first half of the fight. And the funny thing, I was a bit concerned for Diaz, feeling that... The I need a fight that I'm going to be focused on. I could slip up in a tune-up, and right now he's not slipping. on, and he gets the energy from the crowd. You know, Diaz also doesn't look it, but he's physically... for Diaz. So, and if he doesn't have a... Good combination by Diaz. I'll come back and you be first with that jab. Need to stop. In, in Diaz's loss and said there's no giving me. We'll see who really wants this. Looks like Diaz really wants it so far. Three, four, five, six punch combination. After dark, Juan Diaz, the former Light Jorge Barrios. In the, in the other match, Rito caught up to him. If Katsidis... All he's doing is hit right on it, and he's, he's trying to go for the... Diaz has not forgotten about the body of Katsidis. That body. Diaz blocks, Katsidis blocks. Diaz scores. With the There's that... That they're at their best tonight. Right now, it's Diaz. His best is in town, so he needs to do something. Summon Diaz to engage. Have been right hands from Diaz. Yes. Knockouts of his. <laughs> but most of those came. And Diaz is throwing a great job. I up anything Casillas wants to throw. Diaz knocking those body shots. That right. with Nate Campbell in Mexico. Diaz is fighting a relaxed fight. That Katsidis was able to see these punches as a result of shot from Katsidis. Diaz. Katsidis. Wow, with about seven on edge. 
Boxer punches for the first time. Combination from Katsidis. He said he says, if you were watching the Nate Campbell fight, it was electing to go to Diaz's. And again, we see this round after Katsidis. You could see an effort to go to Diaz's body. Now. Feel the need to urge Diaz. Good uppercut on the inside, though, by Diaz. Katsidis comes right back. Landing the clean of harder shots. Eight to one, Diaz. Diaz, you see, has enough punching power to keep Katsidis. That's him with one, two there. Diaz with an uppercut on the inside. That snap back the head of Katsidis. Wait, you gotta watch out for his right hand and his jab. Done a nice job defensively in this fight. Getting close with that head in there. But I've seen about 10 warnings. Arios lost points. They have a TD. He's been ripped up with big boxes. Be able to impose himself, he's losing. Even Casamayor, who knocked him out. Katsidis did that, gonna go on to win, or caught him and knocked him out. Pumps that jab again. That has been one of the keys for him in this game. He's thrown 330 of them. Took something out of him. No, that's why I was wanted to get right in there. He realized what he did wrong in his last fight with Nate, so he wanted to get himself. Plus, he misses being the champ. He has finished off that last exchange with a good left tuck to the head. Right hand. Diaz has done a nice job of blocking. We saw Diaz do it again. When Casitas leans on him, he turns, and finds Kitsidis, an angle and scores. Casitas is the way he ended the round 11. He raised his hands and... Well, maybe uh, Brendan Casitas' his trainer feels that if he tells him that he's... Anybody watching this should realize he's not winning. I... This fight, getting this fight. He has again blocked the combination. To Katsidis, who's trying to fight him. Uppercut on the inside from Katsidis. Diaz responds with a combination. Katsidis ducks away from danger. They go toe to toe. Right hand by Diaz with 30 seconds to go in the fight. I tell you, it looks like Diaz hurt him there with a good right hand ball, but he's no baby. Juan Diaz coming in with dung in deep against a game and tough Michael Katsidis. They'll slug it out right to the end. That's a slip. That's a slip on the logo on the ring mat. And it's over. The Katsidis camp raises him. Glenn Hamada. Scores at 115, 113 for Cat Cities. Gail Van Oy, 116, 112 for Diaz. Levi Martinez scores at 115, 113 to the winner by split decision from Houston, Texas. And now the IBO lightweight champion of the world, Juan Baby Boy. Split decision.